all the negatives that are going on right now for the British monarchy, it was nice to get out to a wonderful event at the Royal Albert Hall in the very heart of Kensington. You know, the building, of course, uh, that was put together all thanks to another long reigning monarch, Queen Victoria, recently celebrated 150 years since its inception. What a place. If you do get a chance to come to London, do go on their tour. Fascinating historical stuff. But last night it was a stuff of stars because, quite frankly, William and Catherine were there looking absolutely glorious as, you know, the people to attend this year's Royal Variety performance. But it's always pleasing to reveal, of course, to you exclusively, what truly got Catherine up and happy. By the way, the show started off, I thought, rather beautifully uh, with the guards, of course, the King's Guards playing the national anthem. Very moving. And what a spectacular job they did. Well done, everybody associated with that. I must also point out that a recent sadly deceased friend of mine, Bill Kenwright, the theatrical impresario, was given a wonderful tribute by the Spice Girl Mel C. Mel had appeared in one of Bill's spectacular productions, the musical Blood Brothers, and was wearing blue and white, alongside, of course, the very talented Ben Forrester. So, you know, that was a spectacular evening. But let me tell you, the star of the show, as many people know, was Cher. But the person that really put a smile on the Princess Catherine's face, and we could see a little bit of chair boogie in, let me tell you, was none other than the 80s icon himself, Rick Astley. Oh, yes. Now, when Rick came on, he played a couple of tracks from his brand new album, which recently got to the top of the charts. But of course, when he cracked into the hits, Take Me To Your Heart, Never Gonna Give You Up, Whenever You Need Somebody, well, this really, truly brightened both William and Catherine's evening, you know? I'm not taking it away from anybody else, but it was really nice to see. You know when you know that somebody knows that all the words to the songs? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you think, wow, you really were a fan, you know? And uh, it was nice to see backstage them, of course, uh, meeting Rick, because clearly she was very, very much enamored with him. What a comeback he's had, and what a long career also. Other notables for me were indeed the pianist Lang Lang, who gave a very special performance. Won't spoil that if you're watching it on television. What a talented guy he is. And let's not forget, of course, the singing superstar herself, Cher. Yes. Now, Cher was there to promote a brand new album, and at 77, nearly 78, age-defying, let me tell you, could move like a trooper and really got the crowd on side, you know. She's one of these people that, as she said, she's been around too long. <laughs> I thought that was a strange phase, but very strange indeed and nice for her. Catherine, as I say, and William just discarded any cruel comments as they were going into the Royal Albert Hall, what has obviously unfolded over the last few days. The TV show is popping up uh, on television and then syndicated around the world, uh, so check out your local listings very soon. But it was a wonderful night. Lots of money was raised for all of those charities regarding the Royal Variety Foundation. And as I say, it was just so sweet. By the way, they brought along a couple of dates with them. That's right. Royal Balcony also included, all thanks to a very special invitation from Catherine and William, none other than Prince Daniel and the Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. Now, this wasn't an official state visit, but a visit that was organised nonetheless. And according to a very well-placed source, they were asked, you know, would you like to come along? Let me tell you, both thoroughly enjoyed it. And for all the negatives that have gone on over the last few days, it was a spectacular night. As I say, do look out for it, and above all, if you get the opportunity and you do get the chance to see it, you truly will enjoy it. But think of Catherine singing along, never going to give you up. <laughs> Great fun. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.